Hi everyone, my name is Jay Productions and welcome to my first video. Now in today's video, I have mentioned I was going to be doing this for a little bit. I mentioned it in the video when I basically announced that I'm returning to YouTube slightly. And this is going to be, today we're going to be going over the top 10 assault rifles in Call of Duty Zombies. Now before we get into the video, I just want to say that this is completely my own opinion. You do not have to agree with it. And if, you, and if you're upset about this, well, I'm sorry, but I, again, this is my own opinion. Um, please keep the comments positive. Don't, you know, we don't need to, we don't need to have negative comments. That just creates more conflict we don't need. And if you have, you know, your own top 10, feel free to leave it down there as well. And maybe I'll, maybe I'll see it. Anyway, uh, without further ado, let's get into the video. Coming in at the number 10 spot. We have the Man of War from Black Ops 3. Now, the Man of War in Black Ops 3 was definitely a powerful weapon, I will say. But, okay, I really lay something down on everybody. I really hate, I hate Black Ops 3. I can't stand it, for those who didn't know. And I'm going to say this now. There will never be a Black Ops 3 weapon that makes number one on any of these lists, so just don't expect it. Anyway, the Man of War... In Black Ops 3, um, Treyarch did drop a few hints, basically claiming that this was going to be, you know, a top 3 weapon, top 2, maybe. Basically, the first hint is that the code name is literally just AR underscore damage, you know, the console commands. It's the only SR rifle you can get from the pods on Shadows, and it's not a wall weapon, so... That's, uh, yeah. <laughs> and <laughs> the Man of War, I will say, is pretty good, um... But, yeah, I personally don't like it. Um, wow, I'm, I'm guessing this is the top five, uh, top 10 best list. Yeah, that's how it goes. <laughs> anyway, the Man of War, again, is good, but there's definitely better options. And whenever I play Black Ops 3 to get footage, I'm, I, don't, I don't play it in my free time, like, ever. Because, again, I don't like it. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna refund it, though, because it's pretty expensive and I have a lot of stuff on there. You know, that I got when I was younger. But anyway, Man of War, decent gun, comes in number 10. Coming in at the number 9 spot, we have basically a reskin of the AK-47, which is the KN-44. Now, once again, the KN-44 is a reskin of the AK-47. But more so a reskin of the AN-94 from Black Ops 2. Now, the AK from Mob of the Dead was actually, it was decent, but I would rather have a Galil. Now, the KN-44 is, again, a, a futuristic modernization of that gun. And it's, it's, it's okay. It's, it's pretty good. Now, now I, when I was, again, in my younger days, I did use that gun a lot because I thought it was, I thought it was a good gun. Now, like, round 40, round 50, this thing is just, this thing is just not an option. It's not going to kill very fast. Even, even, even with Double Tap 2.0. Now, the KN, one thing it has going for it is, is, it is a wall weapon. That is huge amount of points. If you can get a weapon off the wall, that is usually a really good thing. Because it means you, you, you can go back, you can get ammo for whenever you need to. And if you're playing on Moon, you can literally hack it and make the upgraded ammo really, really cheap, which is great. You can make upgraded ammo cost what it would for regular ammo. And I think Moon was like the only map to ever have that feature, was to make the upgraded ammo cheaper. Now, yes, it will make the regular ammo more, like the price of upgraded ammo. But when you have an upgraded gun, like ammo's freaking, it's, it's expensive. You gotta bring it down. Again, the KN, um, I've used against, I've used against Panzers on Origins. I've used it against... Panzer on Dr Drive Drac, matter of fact. I've used it against Thrashers, I've used it against Manglers. It's, it is decent, I, I, I will say. It, uh, the KN44, again, it's just an AK-47, and it's, it, it's awesome. Wow, me seeing Black Ops 3 gun is awesome, that doesn't sound like me at all. Anyway, I don't really have much more to say about the, the KN, I'll, I'll just be rambling on and on, so. Yeah, next gun. Coming in at the number 7 spot, we have... At probably the best assault rifle or one of them in black ops 3 and that is the hvk the hvk i will say for being a black ops 3 gun is really really good i've gotten to high rounds with the hvk and again on dlc maps it is a wall weapon 
I think it's a wall open on Origins. I think it's in the Lightning Tunnel. On other maps, I could just run up, grab the wall, grab it, and just go. But even when it's not a wall weapon, you do gotta hit the box and get kind of lucky to get it. But even then, it is just overall a great weapon. I mean, it's powerful, it has good ammo, a good fire rate, and decent mobility, you know, movement speed. And with double tap, this thing is, yeah. The HBK, again, is a gun that I can personally get happy using. Coming in at the number seven spot, we have a reskin of the FAMAS, and that is the FFAR. Wow. Okay, the FFAR is, I will say, is god tier. It is, it is, an, it is an overall high quality weapon. And I know people are thinking, you're thinking, Jay, if it's got, if it's great quality, why isn't it higher on the list? Because I told you, I don't like Black Ops Three, and any guns that are in Black Ops Three are, 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 are all more than likely all going to be below the, the number five spot. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, that's just how I am. I don't like Black Ops Three. Now, the FFAR is, is honestly, like, the best weapon in that game. Like, low-key. Well, not the best weapon, I should say. The best bullet weapon. The best, you know, assault rifle, I should say. Now, they, now it would it would have been the AN-94 that was in that game, but it just didn't make it into zombies, sadly. The FFAR has, like, almost 100 rounds on the magazine and almost 1,000 in reserve. It does a lot of damage per second, and it... And it it's it's overpowered. It's pretty good. Now people are gonna say that where it mainly shine was Garad Krovi, and despite the game, I have to agree. It was great against Manglers, it was great against zombies, it was great against those flying drone dudes. I don't I don't know what they're called. Now when I can get away with it, I will I will honestly, you know, record on Keen Under Toad and on Black Ops 3 because it's like the easiest map to record on. And the FFAR is, I believe, is in every is in every Chronicles map. So I can literally play Keno and that's what I did. I basically play. I played Kino and got the footage for every single gun I needed to get for, for footage for. I'm not about to go out and play one of those big maps that I just really don't want to play. Um, the FFAR on Kino again, it, it it is good for training. I will say that you can you can you can run around you can run around the stage. You can get the zombies out of your way. Double tap, it's great. And it, again, it's overall it's overall just a beast. You know, if you if you're not a big fan of Black Ops, you're like myself. You know, get Chronicles. And, you know, get the FFAR and just run on Kino and upgrade it. It's it, it's honestly a vibe. Now, anyway, um, that's all I have to say. Let's 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 move on. Coming in at the number six spot, we have a we have a gun nobody expected to even be on a top, whatever best list, and it is a Black Ops Four gun, ladies and gentlemen. We have it is the Vapor XKG. Now, people are gonna be thinking that I am I I'm crazy for putting this on the list, but hear me out. Black Ops 4. The main reason nobody liked Black Ops 4 is because there wasn't Juggernaut. Everybody, if zombies players didn't get get their precious little Juggernaut, and they threw a fit, and they didn't play the game just because of that. And and because nobody gave the game a chance, literally there were some really good guns in that game, and they just and and they, they just got skipped over because nobody gave the game a chance. But I personally, I personally like Black Ops 4. You don't have to agree with me, and I'm probably gonna lose a spot in the zombies community. People aren't gonna like me, but but it, it's whatever. Okay, I've been I've been getting crap my whole life. Anyway, the Vapor X KG is honestly the best assault rifle in Black Ops 4. Actually, no, that's a lie. That's the AN94. Now the Vapor. The Vapor XKG was the only assault rifle to also include a bayonet. You know that random little pokey thing from World of War? Yeah, yeah, it, it's basically that. Now the bayonet was a one shot until round nine, on upgraded, and I think the more and I believe the more you upgraded the gun with the bayonet in that game, the more damage the bayonet would do. So it would one shot for like an, an, an additional round or something. And the Vapor's damage was actually pretty freaking good. Like this is a, this again. This is a gun I can legitimately enjoy using right if i get it i'll be i'll be like oh my gosh i got a great weapon my game's gonna be great also sorry about my eyes i woke up like not even an hour ago and i'm just super tired back on topic the vapor also on dead of the night is pretty good against the werewolf with silver bullets it takes him down relatively quickly and again it is a wall weapon any wall weapon just scores huge points in zombies because hey i'm out of ammo oh I'm out of ammo, but I, I can just run over, grab ammo, and just go back. And just, you know, kill, go kill zombies again. The Vapor, again, is just, it's awesome. Again, I'm saying a lot of the same things. I'm sorry, that's one of my mental illnesses. Or not mental illnesses, I should say disabilities. Is I repeat a lot of stuff. I twitch, I stutter. Yeah, it's it's not a fun time. But because I lost things to say about the HVK, that's about all I have to say about it. We're going to continue on. 
and, 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 you know, we've seen 10 through 6, and we're going to move on to probably some really, like, some of the best guns, if not the best guns in Zombies. You know, sorry, Apple Lies. Now, coming in at the number 5 spot, this is a gun that puts a smile on my face. It is it is an OG all the way back from Black Ops 1. It is the Commando. What a legend of a weapon. Dude, this, yes. This thing, yes. Now... Black Ops 1, there was like a, there was like, I think three, maybe four assault rifles in that game total. Because back then, semi-automatics were considered assault rifles, not tack rifles like they're considered in Black Ops 4 with the Augur, and then Black Ops Cold War with the Type 63, the Aug, which they made burst fire for some reason, the M16, and of course the M14, which is also in that game. Now, the Commando in Black Ops 1 is just a beast, literally. It, 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 dude, it is just so good. It's great for taking out the Astronaut, because, you know, I love playing Moons. So that's a huge thing for me. It's good for taking out the Shriekers and the Napalm Zombies. Um, I would say it's good for taking out the Pentagon Thief, but if you get Mustang and Sally, you can just take them out whenever you want to, and it's just not even a big deal. On Ascension, they're also good for the Monkeys. And not just that, they're really good. it's really good for taking out Zombies. Now, it doesn't have the best ammo, which is why it's not going to score any higher on the list. But if it had a lot of ammo, it'd probably be like like number four, number three. But because of the lack of ammo, I just can't put it any higher. But but the damage is great. The fire rate is great. The weapon itself is just great. Even the mobility. The commando is just an overall great weapon. We can all agree. That's about all that needs to be said. Let's move on. Coming in at the number four spot. We have another unexpected pick, but it is the STG-44 from not World at War slash Black Ops 1. Black Ops 2 Origins. Now, the STG also made it into Black Ops 3 Origins, but in Black Ops 3, again, I don't like it. And in Black Ops 3 Origins, it, you know, it felt weaker. It felt weaker than it did in Black Ops 2. You know, again, they're the same gun, but, but there is a difference. Well, probably the way you hold the gun, obviously, but no. There was a there was a damage difference. There was a feel difference. I can't explain it. Y you just have to know what it is. There was a difference. Now, the Black Ops 2 STG was pretty freaking powerful. And, you know, early on, like, round 20, pack a punch it. You know, it's you know it's a good option. But, of course, I'm more than likely going to take a Galil later on. But, or Rega Mark II if I get it. You know, that's you know, that, you know that's just how I play Origins. But the STG is a very, very good gun. In Black Ops 1 and World at War, I really hated this gun. I, I, I can't explain it. I just, I just hate... The, the STG in earlier COD games. I just, I can't explain it. I, I just do. On Black Ops 2, it's a viable choice. It, it It's decent for taking out the Panzer if you have double tap. But again, you're probably just going to get a Ray Gun, Ray Gun Mark II, KSG Staff, or whatever. There's better options. But the STG is definitely a viable one, you know. You know, it being a World of War gun being brought back into Black Ops 2, I think that says a lot. Moving down to the number three spot, we have one of the fan favorite zomb uh, not zombies, sorry. The fan favorite guns and zombies. Ladies and gentlemen, it is the M27. Bro. This gun, low-key amazing. Now, the M27 only made it into, into, into Shiny Town. Again, um, you all know why I don't say the, the, the other word. Now, I'm, now I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to lay some on you. This gun was originally supposed to air in in transit because it like if you play the 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 turned mode on diner and and if you're modding which I don't recommend because it just ruins the game there's too many modders on there but if you're modding and you go to and you go to the you know to to, to a weapons thing you can literally see the M27 in the weapons same same with Barry turned now Again, it was originally supposed to be in transit, and I think it was also supposed to be in buried. Maybe it could have been in die rise. I don't know. I would have loved it. Also, Mob of the Dead. I think it would have been great against Brutus. But, but you know, I, I don't know why they didn't do that. But any, but it being in Shiny Town, I think makes it all that more special because you have to play one of the least liked zombies maps in history. You know, just to get it. And you know, Shiny Town zombies is kind of a challenge if you don't know what you're doing. You know, you know, pre gotta get perk RNG. You gotta pray. That you get Juggernaut, and if you don't, well, good luck. But M27, when you upgrade it, it's the oh well, yeah, it's called the Mystifier. But this is this is a hidden feature. I don't know. I don't know how I don't know how many people know about. And I discovered this like myself. I wasn't the first one to discover it, probably, but I discovered this in my own free time. Basically, in Black Ops 2, there is a function to repack a punch your weapons to get a different attachment. 
But it was for Black Ops 2 weapons only. I don't know why it wasn't for Black Ops 1 weapons. It made me kind of sad. But with the M27, if you repack and punch it enough, you could get iron sights. And the iron sights were, were the full metal jacket bullet attachment. And you ran this on Shiny Town, dude. Everything, everything was dead. I would say it was it was almost as powerful as the Galil, but not quite. The Galil still outdoes it. Now the M twenty seven doesn't have that much ammo on it, and again, the main reason it doesn't outdo the Galil is because a the Galil has more ammo on it, b and b it has more damage, fire rate, etc. But the M twenty seven is still a really good choice. It is honestly one of my personal favorite assault rifles, like in zombies. Honestly, though, like if they were, if they were to bring this thing back into Cold War, I wouldn't complain unless unless they nerfed it, like they basically did the Galil. Or, sorry, the Farah. But, you know, it is what it is. M27, low-key great gun. Let's move on. Coming in at the number two spot, we have the icon of zombies. The fan favorite of rifle. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the Galil. Oh, my gosh. Now, this and the, num and the number one spot are tied for my favorite assault rifles and zombies. I, I can't decide between the two. But the Galil, dude. If you get a Galil, you're, you're just set for the game. Like, like literally. just You get a Galil, just run in there, have fun. If I do a double tap 2.0 in Black Ops 2, this thing could take down anything. Panzers, if you if you could hit your shots with a Panzer uh, uh, with an unupgraded Galil, dude, Panzer Panzer just rip. Panzer would just go down. Even zombies, even Broody Boy. The Galil, I could probably talk about the Galil for a little bit, and people would probably like to hear people talk about the Galil as that's probably their favorite weapon. But again, we have we 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 have another we have another weapon to get to. But the Galil. I'm just going to say the, the Galil is perfect. It is the best assault rifle freaking... Nah, I'm just kidding. It's not the best, but it's it's perfect. It's one of the best assault rifles in Zombies. Well, no, it is one of... Well, yeah, it's tied for the best one. It's just perfect. We move on to the, to the number one spot. I do have an honorable mention, and that is the OG M16. Now, people are probably wondering, Jay, why, why is the M16 on the list? It's a tactical rifle. It's a tactical rifle in Black Ops 4 and Black Ops Cold War. But, before, before Black Ops 4, like I said, every burst and semi-auto assault rifle now is literally just considered a attack rifle. I, I don't know why that is. But the M16, honestly, is, again, one of my favorite guns in, in Zombies. No, more, more so the Black Ops 2 and Black Ops 1 M16s over the Black Ops 3 M16. Because, you know, the Skull Crusher, you know, with the noob tube on it. But even then, the automatic M16 did decent damage. But the one problem was its ammo. It just did. It just did not have enough ammo for its own good. But in Black Ops 2's buried, you could literally, again, M16, which is right on the wall. You could just go over there and grab it, and you're good to go. And with Double Tap 3.0, it made the gun, you know, way better. But again, it just didn't have damage to to compete with the ones on with the weapons on this list. It and it didn't have enough ammo for its own good, so I couldn't put it on the list. But I thought I'd mention it. Coming down. To the number one spot. This shouldn't surprise anybody, but it is the AN-94. Or should I say the gun that pretty much just broke Black Ops 2 alongside the bank. AN-94 first appeared in, in Die Rise, and you literally only had to open one door to get to it. And for 1,200 points, there you go, AN-94. And it wasn't in the box. It was, again, a wall weapon. Now, why is the AN-94 above all the rest? Well, for starters, it has the most ammo in any assault rifle in Zombies. It has the highest am magazine capacity of 50 and the damage is just oh my gosh it's great the an 94 i heard some i heard a wise man once say back in the day it can rival match and beat any assault rifle on the list people could probably guess who that is but <laughs> but you know i agree it's 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 true and not to mention you can literally just sit in a corner, camp with this thing, and you could literally just get to like whatever round you wanted if you knew what you were doing. Now, if you repap this, which of course you can, you could get a foregrip on this thing. If you got the foregrip on this thing, you could just you could just aim down the sight, hold the trigger for as long as you want, and it's just not, it's just an automatic sniper. It literally has zero recoil. And again, I'm gonna go back to this for a second. It is a wall weapon, which is just huge points. Unburied, you don't got you could it, it's a chalk it's a chalk drawing, so you could just Grab the chalk, throw it in, and just, you know, just go. Just just have fun on Buried. You combine this with the Paralyzer, you could just fly over zombies, or Raygun Mark II even. And AN-94 is just amazing. Again, it is... I, I love it and the Galil the same. I, I can't decide between which one I like more. AN-94 is a wall weapon, and it's, you know, broken. But the Galil is 
higher damage, and it's an OG gun that I've been using since childhood. I can't decide. They're both just really good. But anyway, that is going to be it for today's video. I do hope you guys enjoyed it. I honestly, I'm sorry I took so long to post this. I just never had time to, you know, to like record this, to record the, the, the audio, the webcam footage so i apologize but if you guys have any other top fives you'd like me to do leave them down in the comments below but i will say that they have they have to be zombies themed i'm more than likely going to do a, like way more zombies top whatevers you know weapons perks maps etc but you know it's 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 cool um i getting the like the hard part is is honestly just getting the footage for the maps because i sometimes don't even get the weapon that i need to get which is a, which is just really unfortunate but you know it, again it's what it is Anyway, I, I do hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, be sure, you know, you know, maybe consider leaving a like down below. Um, if you're new to the channel and you want to see more content from me, then feel free to subscribe, you know? I, I lost, like, 20 subscribers because, you know, because I didn't post for a while. But I'm going to start posting, as, you know, a, a decent amount of time. Anyway, thank you all for watching. I've been Jay Productions, and I will see you all next time. Mm -hmm.